Hi guys, in this episode of the Nostalgia Trip, I'm going to continue with my reactions to Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Currently, we are on Season 2, Episode 5A, Air Turtle. It seems like this is going to be another filler episode, but at this point, with how we've learned about this show, it's still probably going to be a pretty fun episode. Don't really have much to say in regards to what I expect this episode is going to be about, really, because the title doesn't really give me much. But I honestly hope that I'm going to be enjoying it, you know? At this point, I'm just kind of honestly rushing a little bit to get to the end of the series because we are so close. And because I just want to see where the story goes with, like, the Shredder stuff. And I'm just also really, really excited to ch check out the movie. But most notably because we are very close to the end of the series and I am just kind of rushing to get the satisfaction of finishing it off. Because also, after I'm done with Rise of the TMNT, there's still another series of TMNT that I haven't checked. And I will be doing so, if you, if I haven't let you guys know. I will be checking out the live-action Next Mutation series. Um, luckily, that's just one season, so it's not going to take too much time. But I will be checking that show out as well. And... Again, after we're done with that, I will also be re-watching the 2003 TMNT series, but that's also going to have to wait for me to finish the 1987 series as well, so it's probably going to be the beginning of next year once I get to re-watching that series, but I will be doing that. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked. I'm hoping that I'm going to be enjoying this episode of Rise. It's a fun show, definitely much, much more fun than I gave it credit back in like 2019, but... Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with it, and I'm just curious to continue watching it. So, I guess, uh, before we get into it, I do want to remind you that I would really appreciate it if you guys could help me out with my transition by donating to my Patreon or Coffee account, because for those of you who didn't know, I am trans. And by doing so, you also get access to the full-hand version of this reaction, as well as the full-hand version of all of the reactions that I do on the channel, which includes cartoons, uh, anime, Short live action TV series, long live action TV series, and movie full and reactions. Alternatively, you can also just stick with the YouTube version of this reaction and simply like the video, but it is appreciated if you do make the extra step of supporting me. Now we've gotten that out of the way though, without further ado, let's get into Rise of the TMT Season 2, Episode 5A, Air Turtle in 3, 2, 1. I'm open, transfer it! Oh, I think I get why this is called Air Turtle. I mean, I don't know basketball things or whatever, uh, or references. Oh, do you like the bigger new power forward who makes the winning dunk in Game 7? No, of course not. You're just a random guy with Ollie Green skin playing in the park. What I hmm. need is someone to get my crowd hyped, to get my team hyped. I need you to be the mascot. Yeah, why? Still great. Wait, I thought you were called the Vipers. <laughs> I mean, that is still pretty cool, you know? Man, that one basketball player looks so much like Bob. No. From like the uh, one of like Markiplier's friends, it looks so much like him. Uh, that arch is definitely some uh, mutant shit that they're gonna get transformed by. I fucking guarantee it. That's a great design for that arch, by the way. With this animation, looks sick. Man, that looks so much like Bob. I just can't get over it. Oh my god. No! No, don't do that, please. That's just creepy. And that's Wade. And that's Mark! Even though he's... What? His skin is not that dark. Jesus. Okay, this episode suddenly really got interesting. Man, I just cannot not see this as Markiplier and friends playing basketball now. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, that makes it so much more fun if you look at it from that perspective. Yep, I thought so. Yeah, that also went demonic, so... Nope, it's not. Oh, ouch. I think we may have accidentally bought an evil arch that may or may not have possessed your players. Who cares? They're winning! I, I mean, I guess if there's no rule, uh, rule in the rule book that says that demonic players cannot play, then it's okay. So about that arch thingy... You think? That is why I've called an expert on all things mystic. Ugh, point me at the idiot. Do you know what you've done? What? Uh, that is the arch. Oh, Baron. Whoever walks under it is turned into, oh, I don't know, a demonic warrior. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Without admitting any fault, there may have been some signs. <laughs> Were there some demonic beavers around it too? Look, Leo, we need to work as a team. Take your win at all costs attitude back to your boy Duncan. Hey! You're right. I'm sorry. That eccentric billionaire who was kind of a surrogate father figure to me has shown me a version of myself I don't like. I've been a ball hog, a bad teammate. And worst of all, I've been a... I've been a bad... Show this to all the Musk fanboys. Let's <laughs> be ballers. Man, this is better than that uh that shitty sequel with all the Warner Brother properties. I forgot the name of, I'm sorry. Pretty sure it's against the rules to have six players, though. Hmm. No, they're expecting me to take the last shot. That's why you're gonna do it. Me? Brain dance! And boom goes Whoa! Are we sure about this? I mean, it would be an unpredictable predicament, but will he manage to score? Come on! Make it! No! Oh, come on! Redemption revoked! Whoa! Oh, I thought they got disintegrated. Did you know he would miss? Just because I became a team player doesn't mean Donnie is magically good at basketball. <laughs> lucky rock, a lucky rock, a doo -doo 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 -doo, lucky rock. Poor Donnie. Okay. Um. I'd say it was a an okay episode. Not the most interesting. Definitely, honestly, one of the more forgettable ones. But I honestly kind of liked it. Mostly because recently I started doing reactions to Inazuma Eleven. And I've just been in a mood for, like, over-the-top sports stuff, I guess. So, that kind of feels right in with that. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much to say about this episode. It was an okay episode. Uh, uh, it was fun seeing the action in the basketball. I feel like they... I would have liked, obviously, if they played it off in a way similar to something you would see in Azuma 11. But they didn't, so... You know, uh, I still think it was decently entertaining, but I've definitely seen better episodes of the show, and I ultimately just feel like it's a whatever episode for me. Doesn't really add much to the plot, doesn't really... It's it's not even, like, particularly funny, like, I feel like I was really kind of struggling to find things to enjoy about this episode, if I gotta be honest. Again, I don't think it's bad or as annoying or forgettable as episodes of the show were, like, 
in the beginning when I first started doing these reactions. But yeah, I definitely think it's one of the weakest episodes of season two, at, at the very least. Like, the most interesting moment was definitely when Baron Draxum was shown for like a second for uh, uh, when the uh, Turtles asked him for information about that thing. Like, that was the most interesting part of the episode for me. Because I guess it was kind of a continuation of the character thread with him. But that's kind of pretty much it. There's not really much else to this episode, and I wish there was. Because there's not that many episodes of the show left, but yeah, nothing you can do about it at this point, you know. I definitely would have liked better episodes in the last stretch of episodes, but whatever, I don't care. In terms of our rating, I think I'm going to go with a 7.9 out of 10. Like I said, it's decently entertaining, like it's not a bad episode, but... The fact that I was hoping for something a little bit more, either, either like a more interesting concept or a plot relevant episode. And the fact that I'm, I guess, a little tired kind of just really drags this episode, this episode for me. Like, it's fine, but I don't think it's good. I am curious, though, what do you guys think about this episode? So, comment those down below, let's have a discussion about this. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently five patrons on Patreon. Omar Bitchman, Deadpool, Corby Dead, Drew, and Rain. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me. You have decided to support me, have continued to support me in such a long time. Hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. Another thing that I also want to tell you guys before we end this video is something about me that some of you may or may not already know uh, that will also explain why do I look and dress the way that I do in my videos. That thing being the fact that I am trans. In particular, I am somewhere between a non-binary person and a trans woman. Though I am unsure at the moment and probably won't be sure until I talk to a professional who deals with trans people. But that is where the reason why I'm telling you all this comes. I need your help. Due to the fact that I live in a homophobic and transphobic Eastern European country with a family that won't really ever accept the fact that I'm trans if they ever found out, it's not really feasible or easy for me to transition here with minimal to no repercussions. So that's why I would really, really appreciate any kind or any amount of support that you guys can give me with this. That said, I don't want to guilt trip you uh, or anything. I don't want you to feel like you have to help me. So if you don't want to or you don't have the means to help out, that's okay. Don't feel bad. I just want you to know that it would be greatly appreciated if you did help me get out of this situation. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask me and thank you for hearing me out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the link in the description to my Wattpad where I post my stories because in addition to doing all these videos to my channel, I'm also a writer, and if you don't enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account where you can pledge support and help keep the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do any of that, that's completely fine, you can seek help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!